of Hope Church. And boy, boy, oh boy, I'm hoping that everybody had a blessed Christmas this year. Um, it really was a, it was a, it was a different kind of a Christmas for us, I think, uh, for, for everybody. Uh, some of us were able to travel, some not so much. Uh, you know, I actually enjoyed Christmas being here at home, um, and, uh, and thinking about what the reason for the season, uh, is and that Christ was on this earth and what a blessing, what a blessing, what a blessing. So I hope you all had wonderful Christmases. I was able to, to check out some of you online. Uh, I don't think I've seen so many strange pairs of pajamas in my life. Uh, just to let y'all know, you ain't ever going to see me in any of those. But it was fun to see y'all <laughs> in your PJs. <laughs> All right, that's a tangent. I'm going off on a different tangent here. But anyways, I hope you guys had a blessed Christmas. I really do. Um, we're so glad to be back with you here this Sunday um, at Song of Hope Church. But we like to say right here, if you trust in the Lord... That he will always give you a what? A song, a song of hope in your heart. See, it's getting better. I'm working on my own family here. He will give you a song of hope in your heart, church. And you know, I've been doing a lot of reading lately. And I want to just, uh, before we get started here this morning, uh, actually, let's, let's take care of business first. So first thing I want to do is make sure that you pay attention to our Song of Hope uh, website. It's at songofhope.info. Uh, we want you to go there and... Um, Check out what we're doing. Uh, we've got, we want to read the scripture with you. We've got that Bible study we're going to really be launching um, at the beginning of January. Uh, but we want you to get plugged in now. Uh, so make sure you sign up for those classes. It's, and it, and it's, uh, it's going to be on our, our songofhope.info website. Okay, so please join in so I can see you instead of uh, just looking into this camera here and not being able to see your faces. Uh, and then we'll read the scripture together. So that's going to be a blessed time. And then secondly... Um, we want you to, uh, you can go to our Facebook page and there's also a link to our website. And don't forget, um, your tithes and offerings can be, uh, given there as well. Alrighty. So we hope you're having a blessed Sunday, you guys. Um, what else is going on? I'm trying to think what else we got going on. We're going into a new year and I know we're going to start our fasting and praying, uh, for this new year. And you know, I was reading this morning in Jeremiah and I'm going to just share it with you. But I want to tell you that it's been a weird year, hasn't it? But we're, we, we, I'm, I'm so glad that we're able to make it through this year uh, because God has got something in store for us. But I want you to know that it, when I look around and I see people trying all these different things, I know we, we people are getting a little bit more excited because of this vaccine that's coming out. But I want you to know this, church, that like in Jeremiah, when they, when they even when the people were taken into captivity, he told us to pray for the people who took him into captivity and for their land because he was going to bring about peace and he was going to restore them and he was going to bring healing. Church, listen to me. All this stuff that we're doing right now, none of this can come about without God. OK, we have to make sure that even if we're using the wisdom that he's given us and all these different things that apart from him, we can do nothing. It's only what we do for Christ that's going to last, okay? So while we're doing all these things and everybody's getting excited, just remember, we always have to put God first. And if we want these things to last, if we want healing, if we want restoration, if we want mercy, it's gonna come from Christ and from Christ alone, amen? Amen, I just wanna put that out there. All right, church, so you guys ready to praise the Lord this morning? Before we do that, though, it's time for us to greet each other. So we're going to take about a minute or two just to say hello to everybody. So get on your, your laptops, your phones, or whatever it is, and tell somebody good morning, and we will continue. Amen. Somebody, good morning this morning. I'm going to tell some folks good morning as well. T Bone, good morning. Carolyn, good morning. you guys. 
Amen. Good morning, good morning. That's right. Good morning to you, Carolyn. Good morning. Boy, I hope y'all ready for 2021 because God's got something for you. He really does. We're going to start the year off right, Song of Hope, in prayer and in the fasting. That's right. Good morning, I mean. Brother Robert, good morning. Amen. Rodney, good morning, Rodney. Good morning, Gary. I want to say good morning to Gary, too, out there. What's up, Gary? Okay, that's enough of that. Amen. I hope you got a chance to hug somebody. Air hugs or typing hugs or whatever you want to call it. Well, church, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship. You guys know this song. Are you ready to praise the Lord with us this morning? Let's praise the Lord together. Put your hands together, church, as we worship the Lord.
is to our God. You know, God is so good, church. And you know, when we praise the Lord, it's not just in our singing, it's in our life. We praise the Lord with everything that we do. When we work, we work as unto the Lord. When we serve, we serve as unto the Lord. is to our God. Amen. Amen. So worship him today, Song of Hope. Praise him today with every step that you take. Amen. Woo. You know, we got a lot of uncertain times going on, but let me tell you what is certain, and that's Jesus Christ is certain. In the midst of uncertainty, there is Christ. Amen. And if the world is on shifting sands, let me tell you something. God is the rock which you can stand on. Amen. He is so, so good. Just look up to him when you need a friend. He's standing there right beside you, so you ain't going to have to look too far. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Clap with me, snap with me, whatever you want to do. And who am I? Who am I that you are mindful of me? That's right. That you hear me when I call. And is it true, Lord? Is it true that you are thinking of me? Is it true? 
calls me friend. So you always have a friend in Christ Jesus. I have a friend. Jesus is my friend. He's my Lord and he's my Savior. Woo! Let him be the Lord of your life, church. Not just your Savior. Let him be your Lord. Let him tell you what to do, where to go. Amen. And let me tell you, let his strength propel you to what it is that he already has for you to do. I've said this scripture many times that we are created in Christ Jesus to do good works which he has prepared in advance for us to do. He's prepared some things for you, church. Let him be the Lord of your life. He can move you to where he would have you to be. And where he would have you to be, church, isn't always a comfortable spot, but it's the right spot. Just know that there's peace in knowing that you're where God wants you to be. Doesn't always mean it's going to be comfortable. It could be tough out there. You can just ask the disciples about that. But I want you to know that he loves you with an everlasting love. He loves you with an agape, an unconditional love. You know, sometimes I think we take that for granted. What unconditional love really means. Unconditional. You know, a lot of times I've seen people break apart from folks that they said that they loved. I've seen things, the relationships fall apart for one thing or another. It was some person's fault or it was somebody else's fault. But, but God shows us an unconditional love. And I don't even think we can even imagine. But I want you to know that wherever you're at in your walk with Christ, fall into his arms and let him love you. Because whether you do or not, let me tell you about unconditional love. He's still going to love you just as hard. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this year, Lord. We lean on to you and not our own understanding. We know, Lord, that we're going to, that you can make a way when there seems to be no way. We ask for your healing, Lord, in the land. We ask for your restoration, Lord, in the land. We thank you for the mercy that you've given us, Lord. We pray, Lord, for peace in this land. Lord, and we just want to thank you for all the things that you're doing right now, all the things that you're going to do. We pray for this new coming year, Lord, Lord willing that this year would even come. We pray, Lord, that you help us to be able to hear what the Holy Spirit is, is prompting us to do. And Lord, we look so forward to reading your word, which is like good food to our souls, Lord. We thank you. We love you. Bless your people out there. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let me tell you something. As we go into this new year, there's a good song that I wanted to sing this morning. And the song just says, Lord, I need you. Whatever you're relying on or depending on right now, church, I want you to just say, Lord, I need you. Can you say that with me? From where you're at at home, just say, Lord, I need you. I confess Bowing here I find my rest And without you I fall apart You're the one That guides my
going on right now just follow Christ his wisdom has been around for centuries his wisdom has been around for centuries and it always applies it applied a thousand years ago it apply a thousand years from now but you know the beautiful part about what I just said is that I ain't going to be here because I will be in eternity with my heavenly father Amen. There'll be no weeping, you know, or gnashing of teeth there. Amen. But boy, there's a lot of it going on here. We're so thankful for being able to serve the Lord who just will lead us and guide us, who loves us. And when we stumble and fall, who picks us up and restores us, who gives us mercy and grace each and every day. Church, follow him and you will be okay. God has got your back. All right. Well, stay tuned for pastor's message uh, as we go into the new year. It's going to be called The Early Church in 2021, Part 1. Did you catch that? It's The Early Church in 2021, Part 1. And the scripture we want you to get your Bibles ready is going to be found in Acts chapter 2. And he's going to be in verse 42. 
All right, so stay tuned as we learn about the early church and we also learn about this coming year. Amen. Blessings to you guys. We love you. We miss you. We thank you for sharing uh, your praise and worship and praising and worshiping him together. Church, we might be here singing and stuff, but the way I look at it is we all worshiping him at the same time. Amen. All right. Gracious, what do we always do? We tell everybody, God bless you. Let's tell everybody, God bless you. Ready? God, God bless, bless you. you. Amen.